Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my studio. Today we have a fun video. We are going to see five different ways to pull a photo or an image off the plate. And a couple of them are pretty surprising. And I bet you never thought you can use them to lift an image off the plate. Some people ask me about it. Apparently people have a hard time lifting the image off the plate. And yeah, we're talking about the gel plate. So what we're going to do is we're transfer one of the photos to the gel plate and then I'll show you different ways to lift the photo off the plate and into another paper. In this case, we're going to use a cardstock paper. It's quite easy to do. Okay, so first I'm going to pull the photo while it's still wet. And if you've seen any of my other gel printing videos, you probably know that I prefer to pull my photos while they're still wet, so they work better over a colorful background. And by the way, at the end of the video, I let you know what I want to do with the prints I'm making today, so make sure to stick around for the announcement. And yes, in case you're wondering, all the photos I'm using today are my own original photos. Okay, so we got a nice impression of the photo here. And while the paint is still wet, I'm going to pull it onto a cardstock paper. And if you too would like to learn how to gel print your own photos, just like me, check out my online classes. They are fun and ongoing. And you learn how to make beautiful art from your own photos. So yeah, links to classes are below this video. Next, we're going to pull the image with white or buff color paint. Uh, in fact, you can use any light color paint you have on hand. So we're going to start the same way and create an impression of the photo on the plate. But this time we're going to let the photo dry on the plate. And when it's dry, we need to apply a little of the white paint, not too much. Uh, in fact, we should be able to see our photo through the paint. And then while the white paint is still wet, we're going to place the cardstock paper over it and apply some pressure. I put a couple of heavy books on top and just wait for it to dry. I think it's pretty dry, so let's see how it works. This one is really hard to remove. Which is actually a good sign. This is great. It's actually cleaning the plate for me. So yes, most acrylic mediums will work just fine to lift an image off the plate. These are just a few examples. And yes, even Mod Podge works. Well, I'm going to use the matte medium because that's my favorite one, but uh, you can use any other acrylic medium. So this is the matte medium I'm going to use, but any other brand will do. And by the way, there are links to all the supplies I'm using today below this video. So let's see how it works. A 
I think I put a little too much, but that's okay. I guess it's better to have too much than not enough. So as I roll the medium over the dry photo, it activates the dry paint and makes it very easy to lift the photo off the plate and onto the cardstock paper. The good thing about using acrylic medium is that it pulls the image clear so you can easily pull the image over any background. The acrylic paint method works just like the white paint but instead just one paint I'm going to use and combine three different colors. No surprise, another way to lift the image off the plate is to use a sticky tape. And some people use it to clean their plates, um, but why not lift our image with it? It works. So you can use any brand clear uh, shipping or packing tape. And the heavy duty one are probably better to use for this process. If you have something like these clear laminating pages, it's even better, but I'll show you today how to use the clear tape. So don't worry if you don't have them. So basically you need to layer the tape over the image. Try to closely position each strip of tape so there are no gaps between the bands and make sure they are layered on top of each other. Otherwise the whole thing will fall apart when you pull the image. And now all you need to do is figure out what to do with it. I placed mine on my window. You can also mount it on a mirror or use it in a collage or a journal. And finally, it's a little weird, but you can just uh, use water to lift your image off the plate. Um, the water, I guess, activates the paint. It's maybe a little strange, but it works. Just make sure not to use too much water because it's gonna buckle the, the paper. So yeah, you can pull the photo just with water. You can use tap water, but I like to use distilled water. So basically just spray the image with a little water and lightly roll it over the image. And obviously don't rub too hard so you don't disturb it.
It's a little weird, but I think I like this one the best. Okay, so I really think I have too many monoprints. So I decided to make all the prints I made today available for sale uh, in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in getting them, just visit my Etsy shop. I will post a link to the shop in the description box below this video. I will of course sign them all and I will write you a personalized message. So yeah, I hope you will be interested in having something I had so much fun making. So I hope this was another useful video for you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.